Finally, the big one, commodity inflation. Or I should say dangerous commodity inflation, because there is commodity inflation. Now, we all know there's some serious inflation going on, chiefly in steel, aluminum, and lumber. You know what those three commodities have in common, though? They're all being bolstered by tariffs that are meant to protect American workers. If you want prices for the stuff to come down, you just need to roll back the tariffs. Meanwhile, the semiconductor shortage will get resolved. We already got an inkling of what this will look like when we heard that applied materials is boosting wafer fabrication for all, for everything. In fact, applied materials is signaling that the entire semiconductor capital equipment industry is boosting production. So don't bet on the shortage to continue through the end of the year. I think that you saw the stocks like Lamb and KLA. They're saying the same thing. I, I think that this thing is going to be resolved sooner rather than later. Cisco, when they came on last week, seemed to indicate the same. All right, now. We've also been worried about delays and higher costs from the West Coast ports. But Foot Locker said in a conference call that no one seemed to pay attention to that the delays are beginning to ease and they're going to get better as time goes on. What else? Grain prices have soared, but whenever farmers get a big influx of cash, they spend the money on new machinery and expanded plantings, which is exactly what we heard from Deere on Friday. Look, I'm not saying everything will resolve itself smoothly. On Friday, Deere had some jarring things to say about rising commodity and freight costs. Still, when you put it all together, last week was the first time in ages when I thought there was as much good news as bad on the inflation front, even as few people seem to notice or chose to notice. There's always someone trying to scaremonger about the risk of inflation. These guys have been consistently wrong for decades. We may finally have some real inflation, but I don't think their dire predictions of financial catastrophe will suddenly start coming true. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or Give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.